Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. I'm joining in with Martin Midlife Misadventures. They're an awesome channel. Please go over and check them out if you're not already following them. If you're interested in prepping your pantry, learning how to cook outdoors, how to take care of your food for it doesn't go bad, for better shelf life, this is the channel to go check out. I'm joining in with them. I'm going to the grocery store today and I'm going to do a little prepping. So, see you there. See what Grandma did. Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Guess what time it is? Prepping time. Yep, it's prepping time. Okay, I went to three different places on this uh, prepping haul. Uh, let's start over here at this side of the table because I find that it's very difficult to find juice right now. It's been a problem for about six weeks to two months. It's already been a while. And I bought these box of high C uh, box drinks because I have five great grandchildren and this way they don't make a mess all over my house and it keeps the juice sort of contained because they're all small. The oldest great grandchild is four and the youngest one is a year. And we have another one on the way. So anyway, I bought this and I only could buy find one. This is only one they had. So I looked around and I saw they have these here. I don't know how good they are because I've never bought this brand. But since the other one only had one uh, eight pack, we had to do something. So I bought this, a case, and hopefully the kids are gonna like it. And it says no sugar added, so that part's good. And uh, we'll see how well they like it. You know, I don't know, never used it, never bought it. If they don't, then I guess I'll have to throw it out. But let's hope for the best. I have a lot of them, and when they come over, they can go through a lot of these little juice uh, boxes. But they love it, and that's what I want. My great-grandkids to be happy coming to Grandma's house. Okay, so that was bought at Stater Brothers. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, they only had three of these. So I bought two of them, and um, I'll probably buy two more in a couple of weeks. Because I, this has been such a problem finding, I don't know how hard it's going to get this year. If it's like last year, it might be gone four or five months. Uh, I need to make sure I have enough. So I bought two of them. I bought them for my husband and me. Not really me, mostly my husband, because they have a lot of sugar. Even though I get the 35% less sugar, uh, but still, that's still quite a bit. So anyway, that's what I bought at Stater Brothers. So it really wasn't much from Stater Brothers. And then I went over and got some of these little bean uh, soup uh, mixes to add to my collection. So that was hopefully going to be really good this winter. And then the rest is all from Aldi. So all of this is all from Aldi's. Then we'll break it down what I found. Okay, I bought a couple candles. They were pretty reasonable. They smelled pretty good. I thought I'd give them a try and see how well they last and how much they make the house smell good. So, I don't know, I've never used them before, so we'll see. They were pretty reasonable. One was, um, I think, $3, the other one was 4 So, they weren't expensive. And I have, they are uh, extra virgin olive oil. It was pretty reasonable. So, I bought a container. Not that I really needed it, I don't think, but, hey, it was reasonable, so I bought it. Uh, one thing about all these, if you can find something you like, they're usually a little cheaper than the regular grocery stores. So some things I specifically go over and buy because they are cheaper. I love sun-dried um, tomatoes and they were cheaper too, so I bought one of those. So far, uh, these two brands I've used and they're both wonderful. So these are very good quality and they were cheaper at Aldi's. This one I have never bought. I have no idea if I'm gonna like it. If I don't, I only bought one because it was sort of expensive. I'm not gonna buy it again but I was to give it a try and see, because you know you want something a little different. Uh, over here, I have two cans of fruit. They were cheaper also than my regular grocery store, so I bought a couple. 
then I was over there and they had some chicken broth because I wanted to at least get 12 cans and I already got six that gives me 12 now and they were a little cheaper so probably from now on I'll be buying them at all these because they were cheaper now these french fried onions from uh, all these are about a dollar or a dollar and a half cheaper than Stater Brothers they are a different brand but believe it or not they are really good and I really like them and I do use quite a bit of this so I bought five of them and I'm the only one that uses it so it should last I don't know, at least two or three months maybe longer uh, I really can't have everything for six months because I don't have enough storage here but as we use a couple of them up I'll go buy some more now I've never used these rice boxes from their store um, thought I, since they were so reasonably inexpensive thought well I buy one of each if I don't like them I won't buy them again and if I like them I've saved a lot of money they were about 50 cents to a dollar cheaper per box than my grocery store that now the ones the grocery store has a different brand so I don't know if there's much difference in the price or not sometimes off brands taste wonderful and sometimes better than the original and sometimes they don't now the long grain wild rice is usually very expensive and I bought the garlic herb and I bought two of them because that's what I love uh, we'll see if I like them if not I won't buy them again I'll probably be sorry that I bought two if I don't like them but um, if I like them I'll probably go back and buy four or five because they were a lot cheaper about a dollar a box cheaper so this is what I picked up today on my prepping haul for the pantry like I said you need to all start putting in a little bit of money probably pretty soon I'm gonna start cutting down on how much I'm buying because really my pantry is getting pretty full finally it's looking pretty healthy I'm going to show you a picture of how it looks I think we're almost done doing the large prepping videos I think to keep everything going good I think I'm gonna shoot for ten dollars a month no I mean ten dollars a week to add to to my pantry something new and different as you notice I'm not showing any refrigeration food or fresh food it's not that I'm not buying it this is for my pantry we lose power here in California pretty often I do not want to be stuck with a lot of food in my refrigerator and freezer and have it go bad even when things were bad last year you could get some fruits and vegetables every single time you went to the store meat sometimes was a little scary uh, there was one day I went to the grocery store and I'm not exaggerating when I said this no meat not one piece of meat in the meat counter nothing that was the most scariest thing I ever saw that is why you see so much canned meat in my pantry I have spam both me 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 and my husband like it I bought a lot of tuna we like that and I did notice that I bought now I'm going to have to go to Costco to do this so I probably have at least one Costco haul that I haven't made yet because their tuna I couldn't believe how much better quality it was so probably gonna go buy at least one or two packages uh, I don't know what they come in six or eight of tuna from them because the, the difference was really big uh, and then of course spam's hard to get so we'll probably buy spam maybe right now I have a lot of spam and really I have plenty of tuna my big fear is I don't I'm not gonna stand in no hour line to get in the store if it gets crazy again like last year so Costco will probably be off my shopping place to go except for they bring back the senior hour because I did go a lot when they had the senior hour but if we go back to being in long lines um, I could, I'll just wait uh, and this this thing's not gonna go on forever and I've been prepping now for a couple of months and my pantry is getting pretty full so probably spam tuna for sure oops something fell um, for sure I will go and pick up uh, probably in the next couple of weeks because uh, I really have spent quite a little bit of money and I've really gotten quite a bit of stuff so probably after this month you probably won't see but maybe one prepping video a month and that's really just going to be replenishing what we've eaten and maybe getting something a little new and different for we don't get bored eating the same stuff 
So I hope you enjoyed this uh, prepping video for today. Make sure you don't have to buy what I buy, guys. You guys buy what you eat and what you like. We all have different things that we like. But you need to make sure that you're buying something and getting ahead. Because I can already tell you, this is going to be a long, hard winter. And maybe worse than last year. Because... I'm only telling you what I've heard. I have no idea if it's true. They could be just putting the fear in us. Um, I live in California where a lot of food is grown because we have perfect weather in California. Well, the governor has limited the water for the farms, so a lot of people are not going to be planting this year. So we may have even more food shortages than we've had last year because of that one little thing. If no one's growing it, we're not going to get it. So because of that little problem, uh, Grandma is going to be putting all her extra money this coming year in to buy a few things for my fairy garden and a few things for my home decor, uh, things I do. But my basic extra income is going to go all on my food garden. I'm going to buy seeds, fertilizer, anything to make my garden look better and get more containers and plant a lot more food. Because I really don't think it's going to get better this coming year and it could be a permanent problem this is the second year we've had problems with this virus and there's other issues and problems besides just that and it's getting very very scary out here and the only way you can overcome that scariness is to be prepared and be ready don't don't let the government get in your way and I'm not talking doomsday either guys we do not know how things are going to go. We need to at least keep six months worth of food. We do not want to go into that grocery store when everyone is going out of their oven living minds like last year. And I've already made my mind up. I'm not going. So I really only will have to go get a few things every week because I bought so much extra food and because food prices may be going to be going up because gas prices have went up over a dollar a gallon out here in California. Just, just on ga over a dollar, just here. And our governor is also passing another uh, gas tax. So, it's going to even go up higher. I will start showing you some videos uh, pretty soon of the gas prices. For all of you people that complain, we'll feel better after you see what we pay. But, um, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm not going to get scared. I'm going to keep both my cars half full of gas from now on because there's the gas shortages. And... Um, if I can't get any gas at all, I may have to stop working. Uh, we'll see what happens. At least I have food for six months. I live right in town. I can walk to the grocery store if I need to. Uh, I can walk to the bank if I have to because everything is in walking distance where I live. Because I bought in town next to everything that I use. So all of these things are really good for me. And I live in a house with a small yard so I could put a small food garden in. So if you guys have a little bit of yard, think about it. Just planting a little bit. You don't have to do everything, just do a few things. Something to offset the problems. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy. Until the next video, my dear friends. Remember, start prepping a little. Start getting organized. I think it's gonna be important.